Hello and welcome to this week's episode of the 2000s Trash Pod, where every week we revisit. Oh my god, we revisit a 2000s <laughs> film with a trashy reputation and discuss all the wonderfully bad or great things about it. That was not my best intro, but I am Mike, the the host of this, and with me, uh, as always, so far, uh, just just one, just just one co-host yeah, uh, this she's... week is. Yeah, it's me. It's uh, Patrick this week. Patrick, Unfortunately, yeah. uh, Thomas is unwell, but hopefully he gets better for the next week's episode. Yes, hopefully. And we never know about Sammy. She's the ghost host. I mean, who? Uh, but, yeah, who? Uh, and this week we have another guest, uh, Mr. Jordan Schulte, good friend of the pod. Hello. Was that my cue to say hello? Yes. Hello. Yeah, you, can, um, you can stay silent the whole time if you like. Yeah, you can just be there. <laughs> you can just be here and just listen. Um, yeah. Hello. It's um, uh, that was quite an experience. What we just Fantastic went Four. Fantastic Four. Yeah, it is yeah. quite an experience. No, no. I just meant the. In- I just meant recording the intro. That was quite an experience. But the movie. Oh, the is too. Yeah. I, I'm usually much better than that. I don't know what's wrong with me today. I think it's the movie we watched. Yeah, you just lost too many brain cells to be able to do the intro correctly. Yeah. Uh, for those of you, you who don't know, um, Jordan has... Uh, what was I going to say? He's guested a couple of times on my previous podcast, Peter Palmer Pod. Those are fun episodes if you want to check those out. Which hasn't ended yet, and I'm still going to come back for the finale. So. Yeah. He, the only reason we're still going to end it is because he keeps saying, like, so uh, when's the next Peter Palmer <laughs> No, no, I, no, I never say when's the next Peter Palmer. I just say that I have many more things to say about Spider-Man. Many more things to say. That I want to get off my chest. Yeah, you I are mean, right, though. We never ended it. We I, still had, like, I three more like, ideas. I edited, the best of a commentary, and it still hasn't been uploaded, and I finished it in, like, um, I think October last yeah, year. Yeah, the Spider-Man 3 one. <laughs> but the thing yeah. is that I have to sort out the Spider-Man 2 one as well, because yeah, that one got taken it down. It keeps getting taken down, even though it's completely fair use. Yeah, it got taken down twice. That's ridiculous. But anyways, en- enough about that. Um, did you guys watch or do anything interesting this week? I'll let you take the... To start this top. off. Jordan, I'll Me? let you take the top. No, Jordan, sorry. <laughs> oh, well, see, that's very kind, but you just assumed that I've, like, what, done something interesting done or watched something interesting this week? <laughs> um, no, well, hey, look, is is this kind of like a similar thing to the other podcast where we just sort of discuss, like, uh, movies or shows that we've watched or... Yeah, yeah. less less sectioned off it's just more of like a yeah yeah um well i haven't been you know like watching too many you know netflix series or anything like that um i have the show i'm watching at the moment it's called normal people it's on stan i don't know if you've seen it advertised but it's like based on a book and it's like set in ireland so and and yeah it's like a i don't know like a I guess coming of age, like like lots of sex and just relationship drama kind of stuff, and uh, right. I, I I recommend it. Sorry, I should say that I do like it. I'm not just like saying that I I'm watching something that sucks, but um yeah. Ah, uh, what else? Um, not cool. I haven't heard of that before, so I might put it on the list. Yeah. It's on stand, that's the thing, though. It's so it's on stand, and that's the thing. It's sort of like I like I feel like you know it doesn't matter like. Like there's always going to be something that we haven't seen because everyone's just at home watching. Yeah, Prime yeah, yeah. so much content. Stand. There's always going to be um, something recorded yeah. before COVID's coming out as well. So there's like still like a steady like stream of content dropping. Mm. Yeah, that's good. Anything yeah. else you like to talk about? Yeah, uh, what's the other thing I watched? Um, on Netflix, uh, I watched the uh, Middle Ditch and Schwartz the improvised comedy specials have you guys seen them okay no i haven't i haven't no so what they do is they're two improvisers who do like long form improv so they just take suggestions from the audience but what they do is instead of just you know doing like a five minute game they do like a whole uh hour long play essentially based on based on whatever they said and it's like you know they legit just get whatever like a suggestion and they just play characters and nothing's pre-written it's all nothing's rehearsed it's all improvised and it's pretty clever how they can you know on the spot come up with like a story with like arcs and you know like resolutions and and a climax Mm, and stuff um 
And uh, yeah, so there's three episodes um, because obviously when they do the show live, it's different every night. So they yeah. um, they film three in New York, and uh, yeah, if you like, if you want a good laugh, check it out. I've been telling a lot of people about it, so. I mean, it seems like That's a pretty really good cool. concept. Yeah, it'd be pretty fun. What was it called again? Middleditch and Schwartz. So their names are Thomas Middleditch, oh, yeah, Middleditch. and Ben Schwartz. Oh, yeah. Who, yeah, I know this. Thomas guys. Middleditch is from, yeah, Silicon Valley, and um, ben, ben Schwartz, Schwartz is, is like... Is Sonic the Hedgehog. He's Sonic. <laughs> Sonic the fucking Hedgehog. That's yeah. pretty lit. Sonic's pretty good at improv. He's got uh, multiple lines, <laughs> like, um, gotta go fast, and... Um, yeah. So anyway, yeah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> he's quick thinking. That was he's great like on his feet. He's very quick thinking. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. He's like the... they really improved that, that CGI, didn't they? <laughs> yeah, he's like the he Flash. The he can think as fast as yeah. He can uh, think as fast as he can run. That's just like you know the Flash can do that or whatever. DC's yeah. explanation. Yeah. Maybe thinking fast isn't like the best thing in the world then. I mean, that's a pretty good superpower. Being able to think at like light speed's pretty good. Well, it depends on yeah, what you're I thinking so. about though. Yeah. Like You'd I have don't to know still if, like... be kind of smart. Yeah, that's true. Or like have strength, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I haven't I done a... Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh no, you go. Uh saying I haven't watched anything particularly exciting. I uh last week I mentioned I was watching um Dead to Me. I finished that series. The oh, yeah. cliffhanger for the uh end of series two is fucking stupid. Like it's uh, uh more cliffhangers. I dislike, I dislike it. Yeah, there's cl- cl- literally cliffhanger at the end of every episode, but the cliffhanger at the end of se- um season two is like, wow, okay. It was like when Tell I was um <laughs> it was like when I was watching uh you season two with my partner. I'm like, okay, they can end the show here. And then they're like, no, there's gonna be a season three, and I'm like, oh god, they they found a way to make a third season of this show, god damn it. But yeah, other than that, yeah. I was watching a lot of well, um Linus tech tips, because I I don't know, I've been thinking about um possible upgrades to my computer, even though I absolutely do not need them. Nice. Was Jordan gonna say something or yeah, sorry. sorry. I was just—I was just gonna say, uh, dead to me, because my housemate's actually binging through it at the moment. I think literally right now, I can hear it in the other room. Yeah. All um, right. <laughs> is it like? Because I've watched the first episode. I it was ages season ago. Season like, one is a lot better than season two. I will say. Is it meant to be like a? Like, is it meant to be humorous or is it more like a drama? I actually can't remember. It's a drama, but it has some, like, humorous scenes just because of how different the main characters are. Like, one of them's kind of like an airhead who wants everyone to, um, like, be happy all the time. And the other one's, like, a super aggressive mum. Like a Karen, really. So do you reckon the second mm-hmm. season wasn't, like, worth it or something? Or, like... Uh, it's it's fine for what it is. It's just like the writing is obviously a lot better in the first season. Yeah, cool, cool. Should we just spoil the se- the ending of the second season for people? Because I, I don't watch the show. I just want to know what what the cliffhanger is. But obviously, you know, uh, it was basically. Uh, so I, I'll say at the end of season one, a certain character dies uh, at the end of the season. And then in season two, uh, someone gets T-boned. And that's the and then the person who T-boned them, it's like, oh, it's like this situation that happened at the start of the show. Ooh. Yeah. It's uh, silly. Oh wow. Interesting. Weird. Yeah. The only thing I really watched of note this week was um, Disney Pixar's Onward because it's on Disney Plus now. Because obviously it got it was in cinemas and then cinemas got closed down so they're like uh just put it on disney plus it's fine but it's actually <laughs> a really good pratt. movie yeah, yeah chris pratt and tom holland yeah marvel alumni oh yeah was like yeah. tom holland just in a fucking animated movie with will smith yeah the bird what? one whatever happened to that one excuse me the bird, bird? One is this? yeah the one bird where one. will smith is a secret agent and he gets turned into a bird by tom holland <laughs> I saw all the Is ads that the for that. Like I saw that. I saw the ads for that get like meme to hell. <laughs> yeah. Wait, that's the plot. He gets turned into a bird. Yeah. Yeah. Will Smith's okay. character does. And Isn't Tom it called Spies in like, Disguise? Oh, that's the disguise. It's it's a he's a bird. That's so yeah. silly. <laughs> but Onward was actually really good. Like from the trailers, I was a bit like, yeah, it looks a bit, you know, not quite like Pixar at their A game. But I gave it the benefit of the doubt because, you know, Pixar, they usually do quality stuff. Usually. 
when it's not like Cars two or oh what Cars two else. bad movie what are you Cars talking three about? I never saw <laughs> I never Cars saw. three yeah I haven't seen Cars three yet I heard Cars three was a bit better than the previous ones but anyway onward uh it's nothing like it's not like the greatest thing you ever see but for like a family movie it's actually really well written and creative. And a lot of the payoffs and, like, the character arcs I thought were really, like, mature and well done, which is, like, a lot of Pixar movies. Because I really I like how Pixar's they... Pixar's pretty good at getting that down pat. Yeah, I like how they make really small-scale, like, personal stories, but they put them in such a rich and, like, um, imaginative world and environment. I think that's the what they do really well. Like, making really so relatable most... and grounded stories, but it's about, like, ants or something. I don't know. <laughs> Ants. <laughs> Ants with a Z. So that's the most recent Pixar one then, right? Yeah. So it only like just came out a couple months ago. What was the one before that? Ooh, uh, Toy Story 4, I think. Dude, are they on like a one a year schedule? Or is it I think, two so, I think there's I mean, two this year though. Yeah, Funny but enough. But they also, yeah. they've probably been making a lot of these movies for like three years or so. Oh yeah, they always so, have yeah. them like... Uh, yeah, they work on them yeah, for true. ages. Yeah, yeah. I feel like they have and like then, the A team and B team, and you can tell which one does which. Yeah, and then you'll um get like people on Twitter reposting like stills from the movie, and you're like, oh my god, you can see the reflection in their eyes. You can see each individual paw. Oh yeah, yeah the animation is really impressive in on wood as well. Like it just feels like a real environment, even though they look like cartoon characters, of course. But like, yeah, you'll see like fingerprints and like. I don't know, like, little, like, scuffs of dirt on, like, walls or just, yeah. like, surfaces. Ever, ever since um, CG artists have, like, figured out how to, like, add weight to, like, the character model, it's, like, CG yeah. has just, like, evolved so much. Or well, even, like, the skin textures, too. It's not just, like, a texture. You can see, like, there's, like, layers behind it and the way the light illuminates through the skin. It's really cool. Yeah. It must take so much I think time. the real question is, how does it compare to Scoob? With Zach <laughs> I want to see that. I might. I want to see that. I can find it. I've I've seen one of the. Oh wait, what was the movie? Scoob. Scoob, the new Scooby Doo. Like the Scooby Doo. Oh, I want to see it so much. <laughs> like yeah. I've seen one of the reveals for that movie, and it's really funny. Yeah. <laughs> were you one of the? Were you a huge Scooby Doo fan? Like of, of like the, uh, the original I movies. Liked, I really liked the movie that was like made in the two thousands. Yeah, James Gunn. Gun. James yeah. Gunn. Yeah. Written. I like the second yeah, one. Yeah, like yeah. From, from what I remember, that that was like a actually that should be on this that should be on this podcast. I reckon. Yeah, we, I think we're <laughs> gonna do one, one that two. sometime soon. Yeah, when we get around to it. Mm. Yeah, that'll be a good episode. Yeah. yeah so. Does, Wait. So is the idea like do do you, do we do you pick the things based on like you knowing that it's crap or is the idea you watch it to see if it is as good as you remember or like. Like, are you it's, meant to pick quality things with this with this podcast? Well, yeah, it's a uh, bit Mike, of a would mix. you like to explain the uh, rating system for how this works? Yeah, so I'll get to that in a sec. So basically Sorry. the whole premise is um, it's based on, like, their reputation. So the reviews they got at the time. Because they uh, could be yes. movies that we enjoyed as kids, but they might have got, like, 30% Rotten Tomatoes and, like, 3 out of 10s all around. So it's partly going back yeah, and revisiting true. them. And also, like, movies we haven't seen before that have had this bad reputation, but maybe they're not as bad as they seem. So, at the end of each episode, I can for we... sure say... Oh, sorry? Oh, I was just going to say, I, I, I can for sure say, like, I know what the, the verdict for Fantastic Four will be. <laughs> yeah. So, for the rating system we do at the end of each episode is, like, we say, if we actually thought it was good if we actually thought it was trash or if it's like good for what it was trying to be. Yeah. I already know my rating. We'll also say, one. we'll also say whether it actually was from the two thousands or not. I think that's, that, um, that's it's all going to be from the two thousands. <laughs> <laughs> I actually think this movie's from 1999. Yeah. Um, and cause 2000 is such like a specific period of time for movies. Yeah. It's where a lot of, um, weird Australian movies are also made, but obviously they're not as commercial as like a lot of the American movies that were produced. Yeah, like Kangaroo Jack. Oh, oh, Kangaroo we, Jack. We have to. My do favorite that. thing from that movie <laughs> is um, I, just, I I know this because Super Mega uploaded like a stupid like little thing of like Ryan laughing super hard to it, but it was um 
um the guys go have you got it's like have you got a bathroom and then she goes oh i got a dunny out back and then she's like he's like you got a denny's oh my god uh, yeah <laughs> oh jeez. <laughs> we're gonna have to do kangaroo jack sometime yeah i'd like to uh, so let's the get real in. question is when will you do Shrek? Because that's like I feel like that's like the ultimate. No, Shrek yeah. is 1999, isn't it? Like no, Shrek one? is 2001. I'm pretty sure. Oh, okay. The thing I is with Shrek is like out. Shrek 1999. Holy shit! No, yeah, 2001. The thing, the thing is with yeah. Shrek is like it got good reviews and it's like it got nominated for an Oscar. I'm pretty sure. Like I might have even won it, but over time it's yeah, just become such a meme that I think it's. Yeah. It's probably Shrek 2 yeah. is the best Shrek movie. I'm not gonna lie. Like they actually oh, have good animation in uh, Shrek 2, whereas in Shrek yeah. 1 they're like robots. Yeah. I was watching clips of Shrek 3 Shrek uh, the other day. Oh, which not Shrek Shrek the Third. Oh. Sorry, that's the that's the worst I fully forgot. I, I know it's all. I fully forgot the plot of it. Like they go to like a high school it's to King, get. It's King Arthur. It's so stupid. It, Justin Timberlake. They get Justin Timberlake as King Arthur. And I'm like, oh man, this is awful. I, I, I don't remember any of it. And I'm like, there's probably a good reason why. Do you remember that movie where Justin Timberlake it um, was uh, in a world where you had to pay with everything with oh, time? Yeah. And if you ran out in of time, time. Died. that was why the was silliest it, thing. Why was it anyone just, why, it just been called Just In Time? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry, Justin Timberlake. <laughs> Missed opportunity, you bastards. Although you say that, but you watch that movie and there are time puns just littered throughout it. There's like, don't waste my time. And it's just like, oh, God. And they're well, I mean, meant to be that, 25 years old. That means like, don't old. waste my life in that context, though. Yeah. No, but, but that, that's the thing. Like, it's just full of that. And it's like, yeah, they're all meant to be 25 years old. So he's, him and his mum. <laughs> I'm meant to be the same age. Even yeah, because once you, not. I think it's once you like turn 18, your clock starts going down. I think that's how it works in universe. I don't remember, but like you have a certain amount of time where you don't like uh, have time uh, counting down. Yeah, it's a rubbish. Yeah, that's concept. a fucking weird movie. Yeah, Let's it's a watch premise. It. No, it's not. <laughs> so should we get into the movie of? Yeah, the I, I think we should start talking about four. some. Yeah. Uh, I just noticed how long four. we've been talking. <laughs> it's been like 18 <laughs> minutes. <laughs> has been that's crazy uh so we watched fantastic four the 2005 one in case you're wondering because uh i mean it's only one that was in 2000 but there has been a um there was a unreleased 1990s one which i think oh, really? is an interesting one to discuss yes yeah that's yeah and there is of course um, the I, sequel I, I can see the images fantastic four rise of the silver surfer and then there was fant four stick in 2015, <laughs> starring yeah. Phantom Forstick, Miles Teller, year, Michael B. Jordan. What year did um the sequel come out for Fantastic Four? It came out two years later, I think, okay. 2007. Yeah, that's usually the how it goes. That was the schedule. Yeah. Yeah, I'll read the synopsis for this because I usually do that. So it's directed by Tim Story, and it's about a group of astronauts gain superpowers after a cosmic radiation exposure. And must use them to oppose the plans of their enemy, Doctor Victor Von Doom. They're not really a group of astronauts, though, are they? I mean, they like scientists go to space. Yeah, Johnny Storm isn't well, anything. They went to space, so yeah. Yeah, I guess that makes them astronaut. I'll uh, quickly go around. Uh, <laughs> what did everyone think of Fantastic Four? Starting with our uh, guest, Jordan. Uh, you know, I I I was a huge fan of like all these superhero movies back when they came out. And like my, like as a kid, I was like, Oh, I want them all to be in one movie one day. Like I want to see, you know, mm-hmm. Tobey Maguire al- along with all these people. Um, and obviously that did, you know, come true in a way sort of <laughs> many years later, but um, yeah, these, these, these exist a lot better in your memory, like watching through it with you guys just then, I, first of all, I never realized how awful the CGI is. Is that oh, yeah. man? Just that that read Richard's stretchy hands. I'm like, fuck. The, the, like, the, there's better animation in Shrek. Like Shrek looks more realistic <laughs> than him fucking. Yeah, I think Shrek yeah. Yeah. under the that door. Is a bit better than uh, read Richard's hand going under a door. <laughs> it wasn't quite there yet. <laughs> It's more believable, um, but yeah, it's like, and and you know, because it was it was an hour hour thirty minutes or something like that, and we I remember you we noticed that it was halfway through the movie, 
and nothing really happened yet. Like, no real, like, plot twist or anything had happened. And I, I don't think they'd even gotten their names yet. So I was just sort of like, this yeah, is actually quite a, quite a like boring movie. Yeah, after the halfway point. Because the halfway point surround where they have their little montage of, like, yeah, yeah. the powers and, like, household activities. It's such a slog Which of an I origin. Think- which I think is actually better than what the the 2014 version did, the one with Miles Teller. Because mm. I think that, like, I, th- I think they only sort of became, like, a team, like, 20 minutes before the end of the movie. So maybe this one progressed faster than that one, but it was still quite slow. And um, uh, it, it, it was, like, I get why it got a sequel. And um, I, liked, I, I liked the casting. We commented on that. Like, the casting of everyone was pretty good. Mm-hmm. Um but uh, yeah, look, I mean, um, you know, it, it, people are wanting a reboot for a reason, I guess. Yeah. Uh, Patrick, what did you think of this? I think that uh, they could have had a much better script for this movie, in my personal opinion. <laughs> yeah, it's just like a very bland movie. I can see like a kid watching this would be like, because like, I remember like liking this movie when I first watched it when I was younger. But like when I see it now, I'm like, oh. Mm. This is very bland. Okay. Some yeah. good scenes. But yeah, it's just like a very boring movie, really. It's like they never know how to do the Fantastic Four properly, do they? Yeah. Maybe it's they like... should just actually talk to a comic book writer for the Fantastic Four to like kind of get the gist down. Yeah, I'm sure they'll do that when they reboot it. But I feel like back then, when like superhero movies were like just starting to be a thing properly... It's like, they, we have to make it somewhat realistic, but also be true to the comics, and it just ended yeah, up being nobody just wants, nothing. like, realism and fucking super No, well, yeah. I guess not anymore, but back then it was a bit harder to, like, sell someone on Fantastic Four. If it was yeah. a- and the parts that, like, we do want to, you know, like, be made more realistic, like, they leave all the corny, <laughs> all, like, the corny shit still in, and we're just sort of like, oh, okay. Like, catchphrases is one where I'm sort of like, do we really need, like, like it's clobbering time? Like, is that really, like, like who uh, went, ran around saying that's that? That's the bit in the movie where everyone screams in the theater. They go, oh, he said it. He said the line. I think that's fun, though, if yeah. you just do it and don't explain it. Like, that's the thing with these movies. They always have to explain all these yeah. little details and yeah. things about Pre-MCU, the movie. Yeah. they explain everything. Yeah, it's like, why not just start <laughs> this movie? They're already the Fantastic Four, and they're established as a group. And then write another story like i don't think we need to have a whole movie just dedicated to look this is how they got their powers and look this is how they became a team which is what we agree on hey like that the silver surfer is arguably a much better movie yeah because it gets right right into respectively yeah yeah like it gets right into it like it's like like there's no like oh okay this is how we started yeah (laughs) yeah and that one feels more like a fantastic four like story with the whole Silver Surfer and Galactus and Reed Richards mm. and Sue Storm getting married. It seems like they tried to be a bit more creative and interesting with it, but this one is like just origin slog. Yeah. And Doctor Doom is not really Doctor Doom, is he? No. He's Electro. He's Electro, yeah. <laughs> He's magnetic He's Electro. Ma- Magneto Electro. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But yeah, honestly... In terms of, I probably shouldn't be comparing them already, but the, the 2015 reboot, I remember seeing that after all the the bad reviews and like the talk about how it got just mushed up in editing and Josh Trank got fired and all that stuff. I actually think there's really good ideas in that 2015 one that are better than this movie. Because it's like a completely so different... Josh Trank... Sorry? So he got fired... Sorry, he got fired like... Like halfway through production or something? Or? Yeah, so he pretty much filmed his whole version and I think they were like starting to get into post production and they weren't happy with the how the movie was turning out, so pretty much they reshot like the whole second half of it. Because you know how there's that bit uh, where it's yes. like six months later? Pretty much from there onwards right. it's a completely different like script and director and all this. And you can I don't tell yeah. mainly because how, of, like, they do that. Yeah, you can tell mainly because of um, Kate Mara's hair. Like, suddenly she's wearing a wig for the rest of the movie. 
Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. And there's behind the scenes, yes. too, of, like, the original ending and all that stuff. Yeah. We need to start a uh, hashtag release the trank cut. Yeah. How mad would you be if that got released before the Snyder Cut of Justice League? Well, they're actually talking recently <laughs> that Zack Snyder might be announcing that this week, but who knows? Oh, that'd be fun. Mm. That'd be funny. <laughs> but yeah, anyways. Yeah. Like the... While we're in isolation. Yeah, the isolation cut. <laughs> yeah. That 2015 <laughs> Fantastic Four is boring. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, it, oh, so is this one. They it got, got that in common. Yeah, it got, like, mushed up in editing, and it wasn't really the movie that anyone wanted it to be. But there are sequences in that that I think are really well done. Like, I like the whole section where they get their powers in the negative zone. It's, like, a really horror, Cronenberg-esque, executed The negative sequence. zone? Yeah. So they, like, go to, like, another dimension, and that's how they get their powers in that version. And also, I like um, okay. I like some of the setup with the characters too. It feels more authentic and human because like they're really good actors they got in that one. Like Miles Teller, Jamie Bell, Michael B. Jordan, Kate Mara. A lot mm. of them are like they've probably been nominated for awards. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, potentially. But they've they've, de- they've done a lot of great stuff. Like Michael B. Jordan was in Creed, and um, and Fruit another Marvel Station. movie. <laughs> oh yeah, Black Panther. That's a thing that the, the, the yeah. human torches, they always get their um their second they chance. Get the <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they get to yeah. be in a better Next half thing you know. Yeah. In a completely different mm. role, which is always fun. Yeah. But yeah, that twenty fifteen movie, I'm not as harsh on it as other people because like you can see glimpses of like an actual vision in there. But yeah, overall it's not very well put together. Whereas this I think all around, it's not very... It didn't really know what it was trying to be. Like, it couldn't fully yeah, commit can, to the goofy... You can see that. It couldn't fully commit yeah. to, like, trying to be a realistic take on the Fantastic Four. And it didn't well, really... Well, like what you were saying, like, how it didn't have, like... Uh, uh, like, like the plot was what? Essentially, they just needed to cure yeah. their... They just needed to cure their powers, which is... Makes sense, but, like when you drag that out over the course of 90 minutes and then, oh, by the way, we'll introduce a villain at the end whose motivations are still not entirely Yeah, clear. I have no idea. <laughs> yeah. He went from uh, being like, oh, something's happening to me because of the solar radiation to I want rock man power, give me. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> he became a Latverian, Yeah. <laughs> Also, I really want to know how that space station works because they just have a space station that has its own gravity. <laughs> I want to know how that works back in 2005. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I feel like they probably didn't think about it. A space station that has its own green screen as well. Like, what? Mm-hmm. That was a bit <laughs> rough. Line. Speaking of, like, the effects, like, the first <laughs> effect like, that's really noticeable in this movie is when uh, Reed and, I don't know the um, guy's name, but oh, Ben, the, the thing, are talking to uh, Doom. And in the wide shot, they just put like a, like a brown shadow on Tomb's face to like yeah. cover up what he looks like. It's like, but in the in the close up, it's normal. But in the wide, you can just tell that it's like a, a brown shadow that's like just been put on in post. It's like disgusting. I'm like, no, yeah, mysterious reveal, cryptic yeah. villain reveal. Even though I'm pretty sure it would have said yeah. his name in the like opening like, title bits. Yeah. And again, Ridiculous. as a kid, you never really realize just how how obviously styrofoam that suit, the, ben- the, suit. Uh, the thing suit is. You're like, yeah. oh. They did what they could, I guess. Yeah. Because if they did that, we'll- yeah. if they did that full CG back then, it would look even worse. Like, Oh, absolutely. That's true. I mean, if, if you don't know what uh, CG was like back then, people listening, just look at uh, how Reed Richards um, CG looks for his elastic limbs. Yeah. It looked okay when it was the suit being elongated, but when it was mm. skin, it was like, Ugh. Yeah, they Just could not skin, do skin yeah. yet. Uh, if you want to well, see what a rock monster yeah. would have looked like in a movie back then, watch Disney's Sky High. There's a rock monster in that. <laughs> <laughs> and it looks pretty rough. What a movie. Yeah, we'll have to oh. do that one time. Yeah, that's going to be like a, a commentary one. Mm, that'll be fun. They need to incorporate all the guys from Sky High into the MCU. I think that'll be the ultimate, the ultimate uh, collab. That'd be fun. They should make Sky High too. Twenty years later. I think they've discussed that. 
Sorry, what was that, Mike? I didn't hear. I said I think they've discussed that. That would being be a possibility. I, I mean, they, they're doing Space they do Jam that. too, aren't they? <laughs> Why? It's oh, such, it's such like a timely oh, yeah. movie. And who is it? Is it like LeBron or someone? Yeah, yeah it's, it's going to be LeBron. LeBron. Yeah, it's gonna, okay. fucking, it's gonna be who's popular. Yeah, well, maybe it will once nostalgia has built up enough. Uh, the effect of them um, in in the in the space station thingy when they get hit with the the blast and it's like you know, boom, and they're all like going in slow motion. I didn't mind like that whole like, what was it? Was it a uh, some sort of cloud that was yeah, accelerating. Just like, it would have been, been like a solar a cloud? flare. So yeah. it was just like, um, I guess it might have been just like visible heat? Question mark? I don't know. That's, yeah. And like, so when that hit them, that was kind of a cool effect. And I liked, yeah. and like, yeah, we commented on it in the movie when the part when he jumps, when Johnny Storm jumps off the the building and then he, you know, like oh, fucking flames on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was a pretty cool sequence, but there weren't really many parts that made you go like like i could just watch that just for the visual yeah. appeal again and again i don't know that Unlike... logibles ad had me pretty engaged when i was <laughs> doing the motocross mate that snowboarding scene oh yeah, yeah. i was about to and mention the summer, snowboarding 40, scene. summer 41 Ooh. the most 2005 mate. thing to happen the whole movie this whole <laughs> snowboarding <laughs> sequence set to some 41 music and maria menounis playing a Playing just a very stereotypical hot nurse. Yeah. <laughs> Not really a character. Not really a character, no. And then, uh, yeah, just, yeah. Uh, yeah, I, other than that, like, the scene on the bridge, I, I, I can see what they were trying to do. Like, you know, okay, yeah. so here's, like, an action sequence. Like showing which how they used their, their all powers. their powers for the first time to save yeah. people. Yeah. But it was so boring. It's just, like, car explode, that's it. It was so poorly done, and too. I, I love the part that you pointed out, how it's, like, so they get... Uh, Sue to take off her clothes so yep. she can sneak through because the cops are sectioning everyone off. But it makes no sense because they just follow her through the crowd. So yeah. it's like, so you could just push through the crowd anyway. So they get her to go invisible need, after taking off naked. all her clothes for some reason. So go through the crowd like so she can get to the other side. Which is like, sure, that's somewhat justified. But then they just go through the crowd anyway themselves. No, they, they don't even go through the crowd. They just walk around. Yeah, they just it. walk around. Why couldn't she just do that with them? Yeah. Also, and just also, before that happened, they have one of those like really, really tropey things for early super movies where the guy just like jumps in front of a truck and just like punches it to yep. make it stop. <laughs> that might have been what um, the superhero movie was referencing. Like just referencing yeah, I think so. uh, that scene in Fantastic Four. What else have they done that in? I know they did that in Will Smith's Hancock. <laughs> <laughs> what a movie that's another King. potential podcast movie oh. uh, yeah they're, they're, I mean like to me they're tropes now but again this is a movie that came out in 2005 yeah so, exactly like, when it comes to superhero movies this this you know this and Spider-Man and like I guess Hulk if you can count that yeah, X-Men um, you know yeah oh and X-Men they all could contribute to all the stereotypes but like you know like on the bridge there's like this small girl who's lost her parent some somehow yeah. <laughs> somehow lost her parent and like you know needs to be saved and yeah nah it's just full of tropes and just yeah tiresome. I was saying when we were watching it that we should like make a 2000s tropes checklist for like each movie and see which ones they can tick off all the boxes yeah well, I know another trope this one had was um oh well looks like you gotta go looks at watch <laughs> oh yeah I noted that one down too I should be getting back <laughs> I'm glad you've noted all the same things I have cause <laughs> I made a few notes too yeah I, no. one of my note under the, the watch one is CG has not aged well for Mr. Fantastic <laughs> which we've already spoken about no no no, no. <laughs> I like that I pointed that out <laughs> specifically yeah well there was also that weird bit when um all those explosions were happening on the bridge and it cuts to this insert shot of a dog and it covers his eyes yeah when the fire <laughs> like he, trucks he raises like, his paw on the bridge yeah, yeah. that was super hey. weird Maybe it was Crypto. It's in the Marvel universe for some reason. Yeah, he came over. It could be Cosmo the dog. That's Tom. a Marvel one. Yeah. I've never seen. Cosmo and like the, dog. <laughs> the he's in Guardians the scene of the Galaxy. Where like um, Cosmo oh, the dog. Oh yeah, he is. <laughs> True. 
the scene where Johnny Storm's on the motorbike, um, because what? So like he's so he's getting bored being cooped up in Reed's lab. So he's like, all right, I want to get out, and then he just goes to like is that is that his thing? Like he's a stunt dude or something? Like yeah. or he, he just rides motorbikes? He's like a, you know, he's, a millionaire philanthropist. Uh, likes doing hardcore sports type deal he's the cool yeah. dude i guess right. yeah like a thrill seeker and then i guess the whole point of that was just to, just to give the give their names i guess yeah yeah and literally so- goes the news is there and the fantastic four team the ones that are still at Reese's apartment <laughs> just happen to be watching tv and then he just like gives them their names just like and and also- that thing like bends on the screen so, and that thing well that's what he's called he's the thing oh my and god and also what the event just happens to be live streamed yeah and like and also I, I, I get that he's like I, I suppose like famous or whatever but like so he can just literally leave he's watching it on the TV he leaves the freaking apartment and just goes and just and just gets in like there's no check there's no like I'm sure mm-hmm. they had like a whole show re- rehearsed and planned, but it's like, oh, by the way, we need to, we're going to make some room for fucking Johnny Storm. Yeah, a Maybe lot of the I guess plotting in this is so contrived, like especially the conflict between the characters. It's just like, we need a scene where Johnny gets, or mm. Johnny and Storm, sorry, Johnny and Sue get angry at each other. Let's just write in a scene where they get angry about mm. something. And it's all very direct. Because brother and sister, remember? Yeah, it's like, <laughs> I'm yeah. your sister. Ever since you were a kid, you've been so hot-headed. And, like, all this just, like, very on <laughs> oh, the nose. Oh, he's been hot-headed. Oh. Yeah, it's all oh. this nonsense. But uh, I have a question. What do you think is worse, the way they get their names in this or the way they get their names in the Miles Teller one? I haven't seen the Miles Teller how one. So how do they get the names in the Miles one. Teller one? So there's just there's an epilogue scene, right, where they walk into their new lab that the government gave them for some reason, and they're looking an at, epilogue scene, and they're just standing there looking at a um a green screen wall, this but they've put a they've put a lab there, and they're like <laughs> we should we should come up with names for ourselves, and then um Michael B Jordan's like yeah I've got a name for you Ben the thing that nobody wanted, and then everyone's like ah oh, ha 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 that's real funny. And then... That's not funny, that's mean. <laughs> it's, it is really mean. <laughs> it's a put down. And then it's like, we need a name for the group. And then Johnny Storm's like, can we call ourselves the Human Torch and the Torch Eds? And then they're like, no, no, no. Oh that's just, it's just so narcissistic, Johnny. Even though my name is Mr. Fantastic. <laughs> he doesn't say <laughs> that, but like, that's implied. And then, um, right as they're cutting to credits, um, Ben Grimm's like, I don't know, guys. I don't mind. This whole thing's just fantastic. And they all turn their heads in Ugh. unison. And they look at down the camera lens and go, and yeah, <laughs> we're the Fantastic Four. No, they go, we're the fan fantastic. I wish it was like that, but Miles Teller's <laughs> like, um, fantastic. he's like, can you say that again? What? <laughs> say it again. Fantastic. Yeah, guys, I've got it. Then it cuts to credits. Fantastic Four. Oh, well done. Oh, gosh. Oh. Is that wait? So how so is does that he get the name Mister Fantastic? I, I feel like I'd enjoy the 2015 one more just because of how bad it is. Yeah, the second half especially when it just goes completely downhill. Like suddenly the effects have gotten worse and everyone's wearing wigs <laughs> yeah. and then, yeah, it's just such a mess. But is that scene worse than how they get their name in this, or it's just on the news? It's not horrible because Chris Evans is the one delivering it, but I don't know. It's it's still like a really silly way to get the names. Yeah. Plus, I feel like in the in the 2005 version, it kind of makes a bit of sense that like, okay, so those names they are quite ridiculous, and Johnny Storm is just this ridiculous you know goofball who doesn't give a shit, and like, uh, so like him delivering it in like a you know jokish way, like haha, here are our names, that makes a bit more sense than well again i haven't seen it but from what you've described like them just saying like we should come up with names for ourselves yeah it's like like, super yeah weird how old are they meant to be in that like they're like still young hey like kids oh yeah in the 2015 one they're meant to be like 17 right whereas (laughs) even though they were portrayed by like 28 year old people but yeah 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 that's what teenagers look like they're like 28 year olds yeah but the opening scene of the yeah. movie is they're at a the, their high school science fair showing their new project oh my god oh, of course. and they're like obviously like 
28 year old men amongst like a group of like just little kids and i'm assuming like miles teller's like got glasses and his is like a really complex or whatever it is yeah but i guess that it kind of justifies all the dumb decisions (laughs) the characters make in those movies or that movie sorry where like they drunkenly go into the the pods and stuff because they're like a bunch of teenagers being silly I, I have a question. If you were to, I mean, I know they're talking about it now, but like in your ideal worlds, if you were to reboot the Fantastic Four, like for MCU, so they're mm. going to be collaborating with whatever, who would you cast as the fan four stick four? Hmm, well, the, I don't know. The the ones I said last year, because I remember we did, I did a um, Fantastic Four commentary track <laughs> for my previous <laughs> podcast, Peter Palmer. And I remember I said, um, this is like the typical fan casting people do, but like John Krasinski and Emily Blunt as uh, Mr. Fantastic mm. and Sue Storm. Even though it's like obvious, I feel like that kind of fits. Like I'd love to see John Krasinski in that it Mr. Does. Fantastic role. i love to see John Krasinski with silver streaks on his side. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if they do that. I feel like they would. I don't feel like they have to though. They, they don't, don't have, have to, to no. Have silver streaks. Also, it doesn't actually make sense. W- w- where do they come from? Yeah. Like in the, the movie, flare. it's just like, oh, it's okay. Like, he's had got him from yeah. the solar flare. <laughs> well, the thing is, I don't know why they had to justify it in this 2005 movie. Like in the comics, yeah. it's just like he has them because he's, yeah, you know, he's, he's has them. He's good yeah. gray. Yeah. He's just an old man. Yeah. <laughs> but I think, like, um, he looked yeah. like a 30 year old in this movie. So, like, yeah, it's him. weird. He really did. But the thing with, um, the thing with who I'd want to play the thing is, uh, what's his name? Brian Tyree Henry. I don't know if you guys are familiar with him, but I think he'd be really good as the thing. Have you guys seen Atlanta? The Donald Glover show? No. No, oh, he plays, um, Paperboy in that. Audience, just, yeah. just look him up. I think he'd be really good at the thing. In other roles, he's Johnny too. Storm. I don't know a whole lot of actors, so I'm, like, really bad for, like, fan cast. Yeah. Well, I mean, like for Johnny Storm, because again, that, that's the thing. It's like I, for the life of me, cannot picture what the comics, like say if you want to go comic accurate or whatever, like what the mm. hell does Ben Storm look like? Is just a white guy with brown hair <laughs> and he's a bit of like a- I would just say Chris Evans is like the perfect Johnny Storm, not going to lie. Oh yeah, he's Pretty definitely much, like the best hey. part of these movies. I mean, hey, he isn't Captain America anymore, so technically, yeah, technically, so Johnny funny. Storm just really looks like Steve Rogers. <laughs> no, wait, wait, what? <laughs> They're gonna have a joke about that at the yeah. casting program. I, don't, I doubt Chris Evans wants to do any more superhero movies. Really, I think he's no, just he's done enough. so many. I think he's, he's done, done the yeah. most of any human to ever exist. I'm pretty sure. That's outside of Marvel um, as well for listeners as well. It's just like I general like... superhero movies. Yeah, just all superhero movies because he's done like yeah. ten Marvel ones, and then he's done yeah. like. The Fantastic Four <laughs> movies and all these other like little ones too. I mean, he chose to do them. It's his fault if he's bored of them. <laughs> oh yeah, but still, even if you chose to do it and you have fun with it, you'd still get bored of it over time. Yeah, eventually, yeah. It's hard work. Didn't John Krasinski? Didn't John Krasinski go for the role of Captain America as well? Yeah, he did. He was like the second choice after yeah. Chris Evans. Actually, you want to know who I cast as uh, Johnny Storm? Who? Jordan Schulte. <laughs> Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I I think it's I think that's time. Get me a get me a yeah. I'm gonna play Emily Blunt's brother. I think that makes perfect sense. Yeah, yeah you can be the adopted brother. Oh the, yeah, they did that in the the um, Michael oh, B. Jordan. Did. Yeah. Well, that's actually why I I don't mind the John Krasinski Emily Blunt thing because I like the idea of like an older. Like just the older team, which yeah. is what I wanted to see. Just have with, them already um, established, I think. Yeah, yeah I feel like in the original what, comics are all like mid forties, like the main character. Really. <laughs> yeah. yeah, or like yeah, thirties. And that's why I want to see that with the spot. Like that's why, like, when it comes to like recent reboots of Spider Man, I like the what the PS4 game did. How it's not like an origin story. Like you have him established and i think in that in that story he's like he's not a teenager he's like 23 or something like that and like he oh which is still pretty young but he's he's battled all these people already and he's got a bit of like yeah. you know like he's he's got a bit of rust on him which is what i i sort of want to like that's why if they do bring in the fantastic four 
like let's just get them like established ready to go and like already you know like a thing already rather than having to have them young and grow up and shit yeah definitely we'll just have like an opening sequence where it shows their origin and then just get into it especially because i think reed richards will will essentially like almost like replace tony stark as like the yeah definitely the old wise smart Even guy if it's not reed richards it's probably going to be doctor strange but if they do a good job of True. introducing uh, Reed Richards. They're definitely going to do a good job because Kevin Feige is um, doing it. But um, yeah, I think that it's going to be Doctor Strange unless uh, the Fantastic Four gets a good reception, then it might be uh, Reed Richards. Well, Doctor Strange isn't like much of like a sciencey, like super but genius like, guy. He is kind of like meant to be like the smart mentor kind of character in a way. Yeah, but he- now that I think about it. Ben Cumberbatch could have been a good Reed Yeah, Richards. he would have been. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, for any character that kind of is that kind of like brunette, kind of like medium stature person, it's like really good to play. Yeah. yeah. The thing is, I'm sure whoever they cast will be like perfectly fine. Like the thing you can say about Marvel is they never cast bad. I don't think they've ever miscast any of their roles, really. Yeah. Well, yeah. So we like the casting of the 2005 Fantastic Four. Like, I think that. I mean, apart from, ah, uh, uh, well, I don't know. Like, it's you know. I think like Jessica they got, Alba, they got the shield for the, the 2005. shield. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I yeah, want to see. Which. Yeah, and it's like yeah. As we worked out, and I'll, I'll repeat it here again, just so everyone. No, so at the time of that movie being made, Jessica Alba and uh, Chris Evans were both 24 years old. Mm-hmm. Oh. Um, and then uh, Yoan Gruffith, who plays Reed Richards, he was 31. And then uh, Michael Chiklis from The Shield. <laughs> Michael Ch- the Shield's Michael Chiklis was 41 oh. at that time. He's um, a 41-year-old man. <laughs> So uh, yeah, I know. I, I just found that interesting yeah. because it's like the casting actually is well, quite for like, yeah. good, like looks wise and performance wise. I think just Jessica Alba, I think was a bit flat. also just her lines. Yeah, yeah. I also think the script is amazing. That's yeah, that too. No. With but thinking performance, thinking back to actors of that time period, I always thought um, Elizabeth Banks could have been a good um, Sue Storm in that same time period in movies uh she has the right look said, and good said, performance she did yeah it, hey who knows but maybe like elizabeth banks would have been a much much better sue storm but jessica alba would have been a much much better betty, betty Brent. Brent, yeah <laughs> with a black wig on <laughs> that'd be fun uh anything else to say about this uh dr doom in uh, this isn't really uh, dr doom is he he's more like dr doom's helmet mike do you want to elaborate on <laughs> How oh, they hel- showed the helmet in the movie. <laughs> his helmet that's just sitting there, and they just cut to it and insert shots sometimes to remind you that oh, he's going to become Doctor Doom. And then there's a little like yeah. name tag at the bottom that says uh, sent. Well, what does it say? Something about Latveria. Yeah, it was like yeah, um, like uh, courtesy a of, token of appreciation. Like yeah, oh, yeah, yeah Latveria. Was... Yeah, that's nonsense. Which I feel like because we we commented on how like you know Marvel movies they always want to explain everything, but it's like that mask could have definitely used a bit more explaining because it's sort of like it's quite mysterious and brooding and it's just there in his bathroom. Yeah, <laughs> so you're pretty like, much. Okay, so it says courtesy for your work in like Viria, but it's like what what work did he do in Latveria and why yeah, like that, that creepy as fuck mask <laughs> like. Yeah, yeah, very strange. They also but, have uh, a match cut with the mask later in the movie. They they do like two kind of okay match cuts in this movie. The first one is uh, when Doom is looking at his hands when he like notices that his hands like going metallic, and it cuts to uh, Chris Evans like with his like hand on fire. Oh yeah. And then the yes. second one, this is why I thought about it, is um, Doctor Doom's mask. So it's when he like steps on the glass. And then uh, it uh, match cuts in a way to him smashing the the helmet's glass container, which is very confusing. Cause it's like, how did he get there so fast? Yeah, I was confused by that too. 
But yeah. Yeah, it's like, it seemed like it was in his bathroom at one shot of the movie. And then when he smashes the glass, it's like. Yeah, he's like, I'm it, front of the diner or something. It's weird. <laughs> it's like not in the same spot at all. Guys, we have to talk about our favorite part of this movie that we haven't mentioned yet. Uh, there's this background oh. character. Uh, who looks like Topher oh, Grace course. and Justin Long. Oh, yes. It's Justin Long. Leonard or whatever Justin his name Grace. Is. The, yeah, uh, the, the lackey of Von Doom. The hidden gem of this movie. <laughs> yeah. My favorite part is when uh, the thing goes, uh, he's like walking past the kids and he goes, don't do drugs. Oh, that, that's, 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 that's the one good gag in this movie. I remember last time I watched <laughs> this too, drugs. that was the one bit I laughed. <laughs> No, my just, favorite part is when there is is in that anticlimactic climax scene when Johnny Storm is going supernova on Von Doom, and the thing is just there doing nothing. Yeah, he's just watching. standing there. Yeah, and it's, got, it's, it's got like a PS2 model of him just, just doing goes, like an idle animation, just going like. Mm, mm, mm. He just smiles and goes, "Flame on, such kid. a yeah. such a like, shit third who are you act." Saying that to. Speaking yeah. <laughs> of that model, it's the same one that they use when he runs away from the like hospital room he's in, and it just like steps side to side, but it's like getting smaller and smaller because it's running away when that happens. Like yeah, the model is like, actually just like moving like a PNG side to side, like um, and then going. It's like forward. the amazing bulk. <laughs> yeah, it really is. <laughs> it's where well, the idea from. Well, compared to the other movies out at this time so what i think spider-man and x-men both already had two movies yeah the hulk like the eric banner hulk was already out yep was there any other superhero movies out around that time or i, I guess blade remember. if you count oh, blade. blade the r-rated if you, punisher movie. if you want to go earlier was there punisher was, out at that time what was that sorry or, 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 or did that come later punisher. is that what you said yeah, yeah no that was already out yep, yeah that was another one yeah well um, how do you think it stacks up against those movies because like this, this one i think this is the worst one of those <laughs> honestly i i agree with that you, re- you reckon in, uh... it's you reckon it's worse than ang lee's hulk no oh, ang lee's hulk's great <laughs> listen what are you listen about? You, you're in the i club. had to edit mike and sammy watching that movie and that movie was excellent <laughs> yeah i, I really like, like ang lee's hulk yeah i especially I like that, um, that anything shot. of ang lee's hulk I like that shot of the um, the grenade launcher. <laughs> that's, oh, that's the great. best shot of that whole movie. <laughs> I mean, Spider Man is the clear. Yeah, Spider Man ones, are, of course, the best ones. But yeah. Spider Man oh, is the clear Spider-Man winner. Too, and X Men, and X Men, like, I mean, it's like, like they did such a good job for you know. The, the fact that there are just so many characters in the yeah. mutant verse. Yeah, there were solid like, movies. Even if they weren't yeah. like truly like faithful to the comics, they were pretty yeah. well done and well cast. I haven't. Yeah, they did. Yeah, well cast. I mean, you know, Hugh Jackman as Wolverine for I mean sixteen years or whatever the hell it's been. Yeah, I mean Brian Singer directed those, so I don't know. I don't know if we're allowed to like them anymore. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. It's problematic. Know. I don't know what Brian Singer did. <laughs> uh, don't worry about it. He touched little boys. Oh, naughty. And directed Wait, Bohemian he Rhapsody. The... Yeah, he's yeah, Bohemian Rhapsody guy. I was about to ask. Yeah. yeah, okay. Well, are we allowed to like Guardians of the Galaxy? Didn't James Gunn do some shit? Oh, no, yeah. no, that was all that was, was canceled all fine. James Gunn again. <laughs> that that oh, was that all, was all like fine? a big mess over nothing. Yeah, it really was. Oh, okay. He just tweeted some like edgy yeah, jokes he, he didn't even he didn't even retweet oh, them he was right. quote retweeting people making really like for the time yeah. just like regular jokes but like pretty crude jokes and then people tried to cancel him even though like three years after the fact in, in like, like 2009 he apologized yeah. yeah he tweeted them in 2009 in 2012 i think he apologized for them but they just like didn't acknowledge that and they just like tried yeah. to make it seem like he was a monster yeah Cause... I don't know what it was. I, I just remember there was like a petition of everyone being like, yo, can we just get James Gunn back to direct Guardians of the Galaxy 3 or whatever? And yeah. I was like, oh, did he get me too'd or something? <laughs> I don't think he was ever actually fired. I think they just waited they for it to blow over. Was. And then, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah right. Yeah. Well, no, nah, look, I mean, uh, it's, you know, it, it, Fantastic Four did well enough to get the sequel. The sequel, yeah. Which is... Yeah, which was. Well, should we look at the? Uh, and it, yeah, I'll look at the box office for this because we usually talk about that on this too. If it was successful. Uh, so it made. 
167 million USD. So it didn't really make wow. that much of a profit compared to its 150 million dollar budget. Oh, it only made 15. Oh million. wow. <laughs> yeah. That made nothing. <laughs> Shit. Wait, let me see if that was worldwide. That oh no, that must worldwide. Oh no, it made um 330 million. <sighs> Worldwide. Oh wow, that's a bigger. That's problem. better. Jeez. Yeah, that's double at least. That's yeah, that that, that makes more sense. <laughs> and then I got them royalties off Disney Disney Plus. Yeah, Disney Plus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anything more to say about this movie? I guess we can wrap I wanna, it up. I want to mention how creepy the the kiss scene at the end was. It just like has them kissing, and then it cuts to everyone being like, "Everyone wow, watching." Wow, yeah. Finally happened. Yeah. <laughs> I've uh, I've just googled a Fantastic Four quiz. Do you want to partake in it? Uh, <laughs> any questions? Yeah, any questions. Uh, it doesn't it doesn't say, okay. but um, we, we we can stop at like ten or like five or whatever. All right, we can do it. Like, yeah. Uh, question one: Who are the co-creators of the Fantastic Four? Jack Kirby <laughs> and Stanley. Um, I, I guess, I guess, Patrick, do you agree? I don't know. I believe whatever Mike says. <laughs> Wait, is this a competition oh, or are we it... working together? We can work together okay. because it's not really like, it's, yeah, this doesn't matter. Uh, what does the human torch, oh, I just realized how easy this quiz is going to be. What does the human torch usually shout before activating his flames? He goes, flame, flame on. on. Sorry, I did. <laughs> okay, in which year did the first Fantastic Four animated series premiere? Oh, that's harder. I don't the, know. Wait, the Sorry, very first one. The, there are multiple choice. I'll read the okay. multiple choice. It's sixty something. Nineteen nineteen sixty seven. Okay. Nineteen seventy seven. Nineteen eighty nine or nineteen ninety seven. Oh, it's sixty seven then. Sixty seven. Yeah. Wait, didn't the comic only come out like that fucking year? No, the comic was out like sixty. 61, 62. It was before Spider-Man, right. yeah. All right, what are the names of Reed and Sue Richards' children? Oh, Freddie so and bad. Vanessa, Fergie and Vicky, Frederick and Veronica, or Franklin and Valeria? It's Franklin and Valeria. Yeah, Franklin seems like such a superhero kid name. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the next question is, what is the thing's battle cry? Now, we, we know what that is, but I, I want to read yes. you... I'm, I'm going to read you the multiple choice. <laughs> okay, so I want to hear it's, it's, it's clobbering time. Cowabunga. Oh, I wish. Let's, <laughs> let's roll. Let's roll. And come on, let's go. Oh. I hope it's come on, let's go, if I'm being honest. Yeah, come on, <laughs> come let's, on go. let's go. Come oh, on, wow. let's he, go. He, here's, here's a good question that I think that you, you'll, you'll enjoy because it's like a movie trivia so, okay. in Fantastic Four, Rise of the Silver Surfer, which brand designed Susan Storm's wedding dress? Oh. I'm pretty sure they mention it, like, in the movie, don't they? Yeah, what's the Maybe. Options? Yeah, what's the multiple choice? Es es Escada, Vera Wang, Ralph and Russo, or Valentino? Probably Valentino. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Is that right? Oh, this is really annoying because they're not giving me the right answers. I have to wait till the end of the, cri oh, <laughs> the, end really? of the quiz. Okay. Um, no, sick. I'm pretty sure that they, they reference it like in the movie. Do we? Are we out of time, or should we just keep going? Oh no, go to the I mean, end. It's, it's, not, it's not really a time. Limit. Yeah, I was going to say like we can just cut this out. <laughs> okay, uh, which comedian voiced the Human Torch in a 1975 Fantastic Four radio drama? Oh. Was it Robin Williams, Billy Crystal? Bill Murray or Dan Aykroyd? Bill hmm. Murray. No, I, don't, I have no clue. I'm going to guess Bill Murray there. Yeah, say them again. Robin Williams, Billy Crystal, Bill Murray, Dan Aykroyd. Really could be any of them. I was going to say Bill Murray because so we can agree. Well, 1975, I'm trying to think like... Oh, I, yeah, oh yeah, 75. Little, uh, how much did... Uh, am I saying this right? New Constantine Studio, whatever. Um, so yeah, this that. is the first studio who uh, made the first Fantastic Four film. Right, so how yeah. much did they pay Marvel to acquire the film rights to Fantastic Four? Probably twenty five thousand, two hundred and fifty thousand, two point five million, 
or twenty five million. Twenty five thousand. It's, it's going <laughs> to yeah. be the lowest one. I think it would be, I think it would be pretty low because back yeah, then they were just selling off. Imagine if it was two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Um, in what year was the first issue of the Fantastic Four comic book published? Uh, 19, 1941? 19, okay. 1951, 1961, or 1971? Well, 61. 61? Yeah. That makes sense to me, yeah. 1941, what the fuck? Um, okay, let me go to the next question here. Which actress from the film Suicide Squad... <laughs> Auditioned for Sue Storm in the 2015 Fantastic Four film. Oh. Was it Cara Delevingne, Margot Robbie, Karen Fukuhara, or Viola Davis? Yeah, it's definitely <laughs> yeah Viola, Davis. Viola Davis. No, um, I want to say Cara Delevingne. It, it makes sense. You see, it doesn't sound like a Margot Robbie thing to do. But no, who knows? yeah. <laughs> um, Cara Delevingne probably, hey. Yeah, sure. Yeah, she seems like she'd um, fit that role. <laughs> what was the production budget of the 1994 Fantastic Four film that was never officially released? 1.5 million, 5 million, 10 million, or 15 million? I think it's 1.5 million. That makes that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, they just made it so uh, they could keep the rights. <laughs> what type of skin does the thing have in his original design? I'm assuming that's like what, like the comic, like the first comic. Yeah. Um, what type of skin does he have? Fur, feathers, fish <laughs> scales, or dragon scales? Probably dragon scales. Yeah, it's probably dragon scales. I mean, fish scales is like, oh, uh, well, yeah, yeah, dragon scales. <laughs> this makes sense. Sorry, I'm sneezing. Um. In, oh, here we go. In what year did Sue Storm become known as the Invisible Woman instead of Invisible Girl? Oh. Is it when she turned 21? Um, 1980, 1985, 1990, or 1995? So it's either Jeez. 80s or 90s. Could be any. I feel like it's 1995. I think it's like more recent. Really? Yeah. I don't know. Let's just chuck that in. Um... Which Fast and Furious actor was considered to play the Human Torch in the 2005 Fantastic Four film? I mean, it has to be Paul Walker, right? There's no way Vin Diesel. Yeah, it has to be. (laughs) Yeah, the other options are Vin Diesel, Tyrese Gibson, (laughs) Dwayne Johnson. I have a strange feeling it's probably Paul Walker. Yeah, it's got to be. It's 100%. Vin Diesel could be the thing. Yeah, he could. (laughs) Okay, so we scored 67%. Um, in this, we got so, so that's the end of the quiz. Yeah. Okay. okay. So let's. I'll, I'll quickly. I'll quickly read through the the things. Who are the co-creators? Of the Fantastic Four. Stanley J. Kirby. Uh, yeah, we know he says Flame Mom. Yes. What year did the first Fantastic Four animated series premiere? Nineteen sixty-seven. Mm-hmm. Franklin and Valeria are the name of their kids. It's uh, come on, let's go. Is the thing's battle cry. Um. Which brand designs Sue Storm's wedding dress? Uh, I don't think Come Valentino, On Let's it's Go is the, the thing's battle cry. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's, um, it's bothering time. The comedian voiced the Human Torch. Uh, it was Bill Murray. Well okay. done. Is that just showing what you answered um, or the actual answer? <laughs> sorry? Like, because of the... Yeah, is that just what we answered yeah, or the, is that... The actual answer? No, no, these are the actual answers. Yeah. So these are the actual answers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was making a joke about um, the things. Oh, okay. I, did that. I didn't <laughs> um, get that. I was like, what? No, it's not. What are you talking about? <laughs> what they paid Marvel to acquire the film rights, it wasn't 25000 oh, It was yeah. 250000 okay. so That's quite a bit. Uh, we got the, the year the first issue of Fantastic Four was 1961. That's correct. Um... Which actress from the film Suicide Squad auditioned for Sue Storm in the reboot? It was Margot Robbie. Ah. Oh. Good thing she didn't do she that. She's better job. than that. She's... <laughs> I mean, I guess she... Good thing she did I... Suicide Squad. I guess, she, yeah, she did do Suicide Squad, which I like less than the Fantastic Four. Got him. But then that, but then that led to Birds of Prey. I haven't seen and that Birds was good. Prey, I'm sure it's... That was good. Oh, was it? it? Yeah. The production budget of the first Fantastic Four film was 1.5 million. 
Uh, the type of skin, that, the, the thing's original skin was dragon scales. Uh, oh, Patrick. Wait, did we say what what year did Sue Storm become known as the Invisible Woman instead of Invisible Girl? I said mm-hmm. what did you say? Oh, okay, yeah. It's 1985. Uh, okay. okay. Fair enough. And yes, it was obviously Paul Walker considered to yes. play <laughs> Human Torch. Yeah, they oh. weren't brave enough to have uh, uh, adopted people as uh, the main cast back then. Yeah. It'd be funny <laughs> if it was The Rock. <laughs> <laughs> it would be, oh my God. be hilarious. I mean, the the rock. people keep getting him confused with the thing. They're like, "Wait, <laughs> are, you, are you the thing?" Yeah, it's like, "Wait, your name is the Rock, and you're auditioning for Johnny Storm." <laughs> yeah. Oh, that would have been hilarious. <laughs> if, like, if Dwayne Johnson was the fucking thing, <laughs> he's like bigger than the thing. <laughs> Wait, can can Dwayne Johnson be the thing in um in the Marvel Cinematic Universe? Well, they wouldn't put it past them. Yeah. <laughs> there's no, no there's no too many, CGI like, weird, or anything like too obvious blockbuster movies he's in all of those um cop action movies these days doesn't he have a superhero film coming up soon like yeah Black Adam or something Shazam like that? spinoff yeah Black oh Adam. yes he's gonna be Black Adam I forgot yeah. people have been wanting that for so long yeah I don't know why I guess there's fans because he looks he looks like the character that's why <laughs> Cool. Uh, I guess we should do our ratings for yeah. this movie now. Patrick. This movie is trash just because it's boring. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, Jordan. Uh, wait, do, do I give it a number rating or do no, I just say... Uh, so, uh, tr- yeah, you, you explain it, Mike. So you say if it, it's actually good or it's actually trash or if it's like good for what it is. <laughs> Oh, see, I'm going to say it's actually trash because that was quite boring to watch it again after all these years. But again, at the time, man, I understand why it was, you know, it was yeah. good for what it was back then. Hmm, It's a tricky one because it's like, I'm tempted to say it's it's almost good for what it is because like, I know kids can enjoy it. But at the yeah. same time, okay, if it's good for what it is if you're a kid in 2005, but f- for now... When you've got like all these other superhero movies that are way better, uh, it's trash. I'm gonna say it's trash too. Because yeah. it's just for yeah. like a Fantastic Four movie, and this is like what you do with it. It's so just nothing. Yeah, it's just bland. There's nothing to it. Where where's the flavor? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let's just get an older and wiser. Chris Evans well, is the same. Let's saving just get grace. older and wiser. Fantastic Four. Yeah, Chris Evans is definitely the best. <laughs> Oh, I was gonna say, let like when they do them again, whenever that is, let's have them established. Let's have them like you know, let let's have Reed and Sue already have their kids, and you know, yeah, honestly, like, like, like know, the most know. interesting yeah. Fantastic Four stories are when they already have their kids and they have like their own. And that's what they did that with Spider Man and Marvel. They just like you've already seen the Uncle Ben story twice. Yeah, exactly. I think they'll do Marvel something similar to that. Cool. Yeah. Because the world's yeah. already established. We don't need more backstory. Yeah, let's get straight into like weird space exploration stories and stuff Ooh, that'd be fun actually yeah not just they're in mm. new york dr doom we've got too many new york superheroes dr doom <laughs> is gonna zap you look yeah, out yeah living in new york must fucking Ooh, imagine suck in the if they had an, uh, like eu set um fantastic four so that you get like like an actual reason why they have to go to dr doom's weird ass country mm. <laughs> I think they should. Yeah, and let's actually get a proper Doctor Doom. Yeah, too. I think they should build up to Doctor Doom when they do it again. Like, yeah. not do it first movie, maybe second yeah, movie. Yeah, Doctor Doom can be their second or third movie villain. Yeah, and then he'll be like a, a recurring villain in the MCU, maybe, unless they just kill him off. Yeah, I hope reason. so. No, they won't kill him off. They're <laughs> well, smarter than say, that. Yeah, they're smarter than that. I was gonna say, like, he could be like another big bad, like to you know, like replace that Thanos. Definitely. Thanos. Yeah. Yeah, he's smart enough to like be able to like take over like because he's because obviously they're gonna like bring in like all the space traveling people from the comics because they got the what you call it's the uh, Inhuman or the what's it called the Eternals. Like, the, yeah, the Eternals. The Eternals yeah. Them coming in. So if Doctor Doom's gonna be like a big bad, they're gonna have to make him able to compete with all these like space powered people. Yeah, Doctor Doom's sick. The power of thought is not enough. Like in the comics, he's literally smart enough to compete with them. Though he's a 
crazy overpowered. He's like literally evil Iron Man, but smarter. Pretty much, I remember. Also, let's let's get Mole Man on the big screen once and for all. I'm sick of hearing <laughs> Honestly, about him and not knowing anything about him. They're actually going to put him in um the Miles Teller one. Like it was in oh, really? Josh Trank's <laughs> original version, and then it, they reshot it. Stupid. Yeah, I just remember in the in the the very very first Activision Spider Man game yeah. <laughs> when you're selecting characters. Um, you select Johnny Storm, and then like if you hold it there long enough, they say something like like yeah, a catchphrase or whatever. Yeah. And then and then he goes, "Oh, sorry, I can't help you, Spidey, but we're taking care of Mole Man." <laughs> and I'm like, "Ah, yeah. oh, who is Amazing. this Mole Man?" <laughs> I guess that's where Incredibles got the um, the Underminer from. It's kind of that same idea. Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, I think it'd be fun though if they did like another Fantastic Four and they do an opening sequence where um. They just fight, they like take out the mole man just as like a little intro sequence, and then there's another villain for the rest of it. Kind of like how they did with the rhino like, in that Spider-Man. Yeah, movie. in Tasm yeah. too. Yeah, yeah. It's like a an off like this is their everyday. Kind yeah, of the thing. C plot villain. Yeah. Mm. Which is like a really cool thing that like I think those superhero movies need to do more of is like rather than like okay, so we know that in this one they're fighting this bad guy, just like. Give us more, like, you know, like what Tasm 2 did. You know, there's a Green Goblin and Electro and, and Rhino. Yeah. Like, a lights had there's, like, multiple bad guys. Yeah. yeah. Well, I guess... Uh, I think that's a good place to... I think we can need to kind of, like, wrap it up. Yeah, we've got to wrap it up. <laughs> we've, we're at 70-something uh, <laughs> minutes. Yeah. Which is good. Uh, well, well, maybe we, maybe for... we should go for the length of uh, Fantastic Yeah, Fantastic Four. Four. Make it a, <laughs> an accidental commentary track. Uh, anything yeah. you guys want to plug <laughs> to wrap this up? Jordan, you go first. Well, yeah, not really. Hey, because everything's sort yeah. of been put on hold in this. Yeah. Uh, oh, hey, we've got a sketch. We have a sketch that'll be coming out soon. Yeah. yeah. Hopefully, that'll I was be actually going to plug that if you forgot. Yeah, we've got a, a YouTube channel that we've got a couple of sketches uploaded. One will be coming soon. Not hundred percent sure when, but it's uh, called uh, <laughs> Playing Cards, and the channel is called. Uh, almost funny what is it sorry i've forgotten yeah almost funny films <laughs> yeah and uh, there we go. the sketch coming up was written and co-directed by jordan there so that, that would wait be... is it called playing cards or playing cards against humanity I, th- I thought it was called playing cards against humanity yeah i think it's still to be finalized yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no one really knows yeah but yeah that'll be a real fun when it comes out uh if you want to follow the podcast you can do that at 2000s trash pod on twitter and instagram uh, we don't post that often, but if you just want to be reminded of when episodes are coming out, it's it's, it's a fun time. And also, uh, all our like Instagrams and social media tags are linked in the description as well, if you want to follow you. us individually. Yeah. Thank you, Jordan, for coming on this episode. Thank you. Hope it was not too painful watching Fantastic Four again. <laughs> no, it was yeah. fantastic to talk to you guys. Not oh, to watch look, movie. I get what you did. <laughs> I see that. <laughs> Uh, and also for next week uh i've been given oh, the opportunity to uh pick the movie yes I'm, uh, I, I i i purposely picked one that i know mike is going to hate oh, so no. you might already know his rating for it but uh, i picked uh zoolander, <laughs> zoolander. <laughs> that'd be fun actually you why know do you hate that movie mike <laughs> I haven't seen it in a while, but I remember not liking it very well. So <laughs> don't don't hate Zoolander. Actually. Hate Zoolander number two. That was garbage. Oh, yeah. I think that's I why. I didn't mind Zoolander two though. I thought it was okay, but it wasn't as good as Zoolander one. I think Zoolander two put a bad taste in my mouth and tainted the experience <laughs> of watching the first one. So it might be good to revisit it. Cool. Yeah. So listeners, if you want to watch Zoolander before next week. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, that's what we're doing. Hopefully, Thomas will be back. Uh, yeah, maybe. or Sammy. Sammy <laughs> might make her first appearance. Maybe. Who knows? She's a ghost host. Uh, that's it. Yeah. See you next week. Bye. Do the do the uh, outro music right now, Mike. <laughs> yeah, da 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 da